Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another Khan Academy tutorial. We're doing dilate points today, a geometric concept, usually on the coordinate plane, but this is like an intro to dilations. Let's go ahead and get started. It says plot the image of point B under a dilation about point P with a scale factor of one half. All right, so one thing that we need to clear up, this point B is what we would call the pre-image. This is before it's uh, undergoes the transformation, which in this case is a dilation. So that is the pre-image. A little sloppy with that highlight job there, but this is the pre-image right there. Now, we have to go uh, around point P. So P is like the focal point, and the scale factor is one half. That's the most important part of this problem is that the scale factor is one half. Now, how do we do this? Well, essentially, a dilation means either a growth, let me write this down, or a shrink. In this case, it's gonna be a shrink because it is between uh, the scale factor that we have here, the scale factor, if it's between zero and one, it's, uh, I like to think of it as just less than one. We usually don't go through negative scale factors. If it's less than one, greater than zero, it's a shrink. If it's bigger than one, it's gonna be growth. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be shrinking because it's a number between zero and one. Now, we need to go half the distance between B and P. A couple ways to do this. You could do the complicated way, which is you find the distance here, and then you calculate half that, and then you plot it again. I think an easier way is to uh, break this down into hor horizontal and vertical components. So let's first uh, figure out what the distance is between P and B with horizontal and vertical components. So it's a distance of four vertically between P and B and horizontally it is, let's go ahead and count, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's six and four relationship. Now we want half of that. So if we go half the vertical distance and half the horizontal distance, it should take us to the correct distance that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and go half and half, halvesies with that. So let's start from P, always start from P. Now we're only gonna go three units over, one, two, three, that's half the distance. Scale factor of one over two, half. And now we're gonna go up only two, one, two, to arrive at our new point, and we're gonna call this new point B prime. So it's a three, two relationship instead of six, four, because it's half the distance, and that would be B prime. So again, one, two, three, up one, two. That's gonna be our new point. Check it out. Let's go. Now we're on the coordinate plane, great. Plot the image of point C under a dilation about the origin zero, zero with a scale factor of one over two. This one's actually easier than the, the first one because we don't really have to worry about our X coordinate. It's on the Y axis, so it's just gonna stay on the Y axis. Another way to do this problem, even easier, is to take your, uh, so this is the center, Okay, zero, zero. That's where we're dilating it around. But we need to take the points of C, in this case, our zero, six, and we're just gonna multiply it by our scale factor. So we take our X coordinate, take our Y coordinate, multiply both of those, that's my multiply, by two, and that's gonna get us our new dilation of the image, where this was the pre-image. Okay, we know the coordinates of our pre-image, they are, let me go purple here, I like this color. Okay, so we have zero comma six. We're gonna multiply both of those by two. So that's zero times two, that gives us, for our new image, zero. So zero times two is just zero. Uh, I'm sorry, it's times one half. I'm, you're probably like wondering, why was I saying uh, two? Sorry, it's one half, that's our scale factor here. Okay, sorry, woo, big mistake there. So let's change this to times one half, multiply by one half, zero times one half is zero. Then we multiply six times one half, and we get three. So our new point should be at zero comma three, okay? That's half the distance from C, and that's gonna be our C prime. Next problem, plot the image of C under dilation about point P with a scale factor of two. Okay, now, we said this earlier, but if we have a scale factor, that's bigger than one, then that means it's gonna be 
growth. So this case is going to be growth. It's going to move further away from P. Think about if this is our center, okay, if this is our center, a growth would go this way and a shrink would go this way, okay, towards the center. Think about it as like a, a well of gravity. It either pulls you in for a shrink or pushes you out for a growth, okay? In this case, we're doing a scale factor of two. And so we need to calculate the distance. This one's gonna be a little bit easier because it's just a horizontal distance, not a vertical component. One, two, three, four, five. This is a distance of five. So now we need to double that. We multiply it by two because that's our scale factor. So five times two is gonna give us 10. So we need to make it 10 away from point P. One, two, three, four, five. There's gonna be our new point C prime, 10 units away from point P. So let's click to add, which is gonna be just another five. One, two, three, four, five. There's our point C prime. Okay, last one. Plot the image of point B under a dilation of uh, about the origin with a scale factor of four. Another growth because we have a scale factor of four, which is bigger than one, so it's gonna be growth. That means it's gonna move away from our center. So away from the center in any direction. Well, not in any direction, it's, it, based on where the pre-image is. In this case, the pre-image is here, so we're gonna be moving away from the center that way, okay? So let me erase these green arrows. Those are wrong, and we have an idea of where B prime should be. Okay, very similar to our, the first problem we have, we have a horizontal and vertical component. Here's my horizontal component, it's one. There's my vertical component, it's also one. I need to multiply that by four to find the new location. So instead of just one, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And why am I doing four? Because that's my scale factor. My scale factor, I multiply the distances by four. One, two, three, four. Now I have my new location, and that is B prime. That's the image that undergoes the dilation from the pre-image. So let's go ahead and count that out. We have here. So I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's four times away from the center as B, and that's another way to think about it. And that's all there is to it. Hope you got just as much success as we had here today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out some other videos, especially with geometry, but there's lots of different mathematical concepts here on this channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon.